Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Remote Night Owl, and I'd like to welcome you all to League of Lessons Episode 2. And as you can tell by the title of the video, today our lesson is going to be on boots. So you're probably wondering why boots. Well, you see, in League of Legends, boots are an essential item for 99% of the champions in the game and are a basic requirement to build as your first or second item. Now, I say 99% of the champions because there is one champion that cannot build boots at all, but we'll get to that in a second. So, when it comes to this specific itemization, each set of boots provides a specific stat as well as movement speed pertaining to each role in champion that optimally benefits them and the role they are given. Now, before we get started on what to build, on who and when to build it, there are a few champions in this game that I would like to point out where it clearly makes sense that you should build boots on them regardless of whether or not they can fly or in a raffle copter or any other various circumstances that do or do not provide them with, uh, with appropriate boots as per this comic. You can take the time to pause this video and read this temporarily. I do not take credit for any of the artwork. Now, there are several champions in this game where it clearly, clearly makes sense that they should be buying boots, and one of those champions where it makes sense that they should be buying boots is Cassiopeia. Now, Riot took that away from her in the recent Mage update, and just gave her passive movement speed, because as a Snake-type champion, who is a loose reference to Medusa from Ancient Mythology, of course, she's going to be the only champion who doesn't need to buy boots compared to some of these others. So let's take a look at those real quick. Yep, Flight, definitely. Definitely should be buying boots on her. Oh, Aurelian Soul, a dragon flying champion. Yeah, he, uh... He definitely needs some boots. Oh, and would you look at that? Camille has nice for legs. I wonder how she's gonna put on a pair of ninja tabbies or merc treads. Of course, good old Corky in his raffle copter because, you know, he's gonna put boots on a machine that I would like to point out flies. Elise, because, you know, eight legs. Of course, Jenna makes sense, but, you know, she again, flying. Lissandra just walks around on self-made true ice all day. I wonder where she's gonna put those boots. Oh, good old Nocturne, because where is he gonna put those? On his hands? Again, another animal-style champion like Elise. We have Skarner, six legs, one boot to buy. Ah, yes, the good old Velkaws, because tentacles. That makes sense. And finally, Zillion, because flying around in a chrono-type time machine clearly calls for boots. And just one other ridiculous thing I'd like to point out, when you're buying boots, you only need boots in one item slot. You don't need multiple pairs of boots because for some reason, if you buy one boot, that's gonna fit two legs, or a machine, or true ice, or multiple legs, because once again, Logic. All joking aside, let's get into what boots you should build on which champions and when. So let's start with bruisers and tanks. So typically, you want to build either Ninja Tabby or Merc Treads on champions such as Wukong, Garen, or Poppy, to name a few. And these boots do the following. Ninja Tabby grants armor and damage reduction from auto attacks, and Merc Treads grants magic resist and tenacity. So typically, against teams that have a 3 AD or more, you want to build Ninja Tabby, and against teams that have high crowd control, with the exception of knockups, and 3 AP champions or more, typically you want to build Merc Treads. So the next two sets of boots we have are actually for AP champions, and those are Sorcerer Shoes and Ionian Boots of Lucidity. So Sorcerer's Shoes grants 15 magic penetration, and Ionian Boots of Lucidity grants 10% cooldown reduction, as well as cooldown reduction for all summoner spells. So typically on these mage champions, such as Velkaz, Morgana, and Janna, which also double as support, you want to build these items either to deal increased magic damage, or have increased utility for both crowd control and cooldown reduction on your spells. Now moving on to Berserker's Greaves, this set of boots is meant specifically for ADCs as well as a couple exceptions of attack speed champions such as Trindamir and Master Yi. And simply put, they just increase your attack speed which is essential on all ADCs and like I just said, Master Yi and Trindamir for increased damage from your auto attacks. And finally we have two boots left that are geared specifically for movement speed, we have Boots of Swiftness and Boots of Mobility. Now, Boots of Swiftness got nerfed in Season 6. They do grant a form of tenacity called Slow Resist, 
And then Boots of Mobility simply give you 105 out of combat movement speed. So Boots of Swiftness, you're really not going to build on too many people, if any ever. But Boots of Mobility, you're going to be building on high ganking, high pressure junglers such as Lee Sin and Sejuani. Because the engage as well as the pressure it provides when it comes to ganking is really crucial with that 105 movement speed buff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's episode of League of Lessons. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we'll be covering Keystone Masteries. Well, guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll see each other again real soon. Have a wonderful day.